Hi there. My name is Santiago Duarte, and I am a Winter Haven High School sophomore, currently a top five finalist in the ACPL Civic Initiative Essay Contest. This video will serve as a presentation for my essay. Thank you. Civic Engagement and the Need for Civil Discourse in the Present Day. Civic Engagement and Civil Discourse, two concepts that push government and leadership through increasing, increasingly politically dredged climates all over the world. To put it simply, they're the fuel in the tank for the vehicle that is government of all forms, driving people forwards or backwards every day. But what does this truly mean? What can civic engagement slash discourse even be defined as? Well, civic engagement can be described as any individual or group's actions that bring attention to public issues through various forms of activism and public service. Civil discourse, as told by a Mark Kingwell, is general communication which attempts to enhance understanding of a public issue between any and all participants, with Kenneth J. Jordan outlining that discourse needs respect for participants and impartial discussion. These two ideas and their simplicity effectively make themselves necessary in our present day political climate, facilitating action and fostering unique discussions that have the potential to change the world around them. Now, anyone willing to participate in civic engagement may find that the actions they perform actually affect and alter their environment, be it on a local, state, or federal level. Individuals and groups might actively engage through ventures such as volunteering, advocating for up-to-date legislation, becoming an educator, or even just voting. When citizens do these things, they can compellingly and effectively influence their surrounding political climate, achieving shared goals and common interests. Most recently, the election of 2020 saw the highest voter turnout in history since, at the very least, 1980, with people voting in droves and putting a stronger Democrat presence than Republican in Washington passing of George Floyd at the hands of police previous to the aforementioned election, but within the same summer, also saw an incredible response in the millions for Black Lives Matter movement, in which people protested, protested and advocated across the United States for proper civil treatment of African Americans. Regardless of political affiliations, these two examples by themselves display millions upon millions gathering in force as one, affecting and altering their environment in order to attain important common slash shared goals between all involved be it for civil liberties and rights, or a slightly left-leaning government. Now, going hand-in-hand hand with civic engagement is the actual discourse that comes with it as well. The civil discourse that is intrinsically linked sorry, to civic engagement is not to go unnoticed either. Someone might take part in discourse through communication that includes, but is not limited to, face-to-face -face speaking or online messaging. Partaking in this kind of discourse itself sparks deliberation between any and all involved parties, setting up future civic engagement in the first place while also perpetuating engagement in the near future. In the present day, discourse is displayed on a national and highly publicized level through events such as presidential debates between would-be candidates vying to become the next administration of the White House. Quite interestingly enough, these debates are not at all mandated by the Constitution, the supreme law of the entire United States. Yet candidates willingly take part in these discussions of the nation between themselves despite no obligation to do so. In spite of duty or commitment to the acts of civil discourse, distinguished and powerful political leaders of the present day continue to attempt to sow the seeds of discussion between both supporters and opponents alike. In these increasingly politically swamped worlds that we live in, the concept and ideals of civic engagement and civil discourse continue to push government and leadership every day. They can be informally said to be the fuel and tank for the vessel that is authority of all forms, driving people forward or backwards every day. But what does this really mean? What can civic engagement and discourse even be defined as? Any individual or group's actions that can bring attention to public issues through various forms of activism and service qualify as civic engagement. A certain Kenneth G. Jurgen also frames that discourse itself calls for impartial discussion with respect to be given to any and all participants. Now, as described throughout this essay, these two ideas in their simplicity effectively make themselves necessary in our present day political climate, facilitating action and fostering unique discussions that have the potential to change the world around them. Thank you.